Australia, meanwhile, has been battling hundreds of wildfires. Three lives have already been lost. Thousands of acres of land have been charred. In the path of the blaze now is the city of Sydney. This report has more. A state of emergency has been declared in Sydney. This city of 5 million has been trapped in a ring of fire. The blaze is fast advancing. The city woke up to a hazy morning. A foretaste of what lies ahead. Authorities have issued an unprecedented catastrophic warning. Temperatures are expected to touch 37 degrees Celsius. Strong winds have been predicted too. Winds that will fan the fire, turning Sydney into a furnace. We know the weather forecast for tomorrow is at catastrophic levels and based on that plus the conditions we've experienced in the last few days, I've accepted the advice of Commissioner Fitzsimmons and declared a state of emergency across New South Wales. All of the city's schools have been closed. Authorities have also deployed emergency crew to deal with collapsing power lines. At least 500 additional firefighters are being flown into Sydney and 50 fire trucks are driving in from Victoria. The state of emergency is not just confined to Sydney. All of New South Wales is under threat. At least 60 fires are currently burning in the state. Thousands of people have been asked to evacuate. Three people have already died and over 150 homes have been razed. We cannot guarantee a fire truck at every home. We cannot guarantee uh, an aircraft will be overhead every time a fire is impacting on your property. We cannot guarantee uh, that someone will knock on the door and give you a warning that there's fires nearby. And we certainly cannot guarantee that despite our best efforts, the technological tools available will deliver you a message in time. If fires start, start and take hold, they can be burning and impacting on people's homes, people's property. Bearing the brunt are not just humans. The town of Vitaliba has been almost wiped out by the bushfires. A family-run animal shelter here has taken in a few kangaroos to help them escape the blaze. Mate, it's just the worst thing I've ever seen, honestly. The fire front was coming at us, just nothing you could do about it. <laughs> so, lost a few friends in the fire, lost all the possessions. Possessions are nothing, it's the people that count, eh? Around 250 miles away in Port Macquarie, a koala hospital is racing against time to save lives. This region is a koala hotspot, but the fire has engulfed two-thirds of the habitat, killing 350 koalas. The little koalas that came in, first of all, that had been badly burnt, had been singed all over. So if you look at them, instead of being a lovely grey colour, they're brown and their fur has sort of sizzled a bit like human hair when it's burnt. A state of emergency has also been declared in Queensland. Gold Coast woke up to a blurry skyline. The air quality has deteriorated. People here have been asked to stay indoors. At least 367 schools and colleges have been closed. Australia is no stranger to wildfires. They are a common natural hazard. Hundreds of people have died in the recent past. The deadliest wildfire in Australia's history goes back to 2009. 173 people were killed in Victoria that year. The next 48 hours are very crucial for Sydney. As the city braces for its first ever fire catastrophic threat, thousands are praying for their safety and rain. Now a report, we on World is One.